YouTube! Well, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Olivia. I am a bikini competitor, bodybuilder, online coach and bikini posing coach. And welcome back to another video and another episode of the Level Up Off Season series. Now, we're going to keep it very casual today. It's just going to be a full day of eating during my improvement season. So I'm gonna take you along, show you what I'm eating and what I've been doing. Um, I've got my coffee first, well, not first thing. Um, I've had my hot lemon water this morning. I've gotten ready and now it's time for coffee. As it, if you would have seen my previous videos, you know I skip coffee for like an hour or two in the morning and have it, as I said, an hour or two after waking up just to prevent that afternoon slump. And it's really been working, I have to say. But as I said, I talk about all of this, all my health protocols in the previous video. So if you want to see that, skip back. And if you just want to see what I'm eating, stay tuned. So first of all, I've got some posing clients this morning. And then I have to do my client check-ins. But after my posing clients, so I'll be done about 11. I will take you along for meal number one because I have gotten the chance to get up a little bit later. Not 5 a.m. but 7 a.m. So I probably won't be eating till about 12 slash half 12. Um, but yeah, I've kind of been going through a slump. I'm going through a major burnout and I'm going to be honest with you, it's not always pretty. We're not always motivated. We don't always want to train. We don't always want to eat what's on our plans. So this is why I'm doing this video. I'm actually taking a deload this weekend. I will not be training. Um, I just need to rest. Honestly, I haven't been sleeping. I've been stressed and I feel like my body just needs a bit of rest. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm taking a weekend off training and I'm kind of switching up my meal plan. I'm going to, instead of just sticking to it thing by thing as it's written in my plan, I'm going to incorporate a bit more fun foods, make my food a bit more fun while still sticking to my calories and macros. So yeah, some meals will be boring. It will be chicken and rice or potato and chicken, if I'm being honest. But I am planning on making something a little fun as a snack later. So stay tuned for that. It'll probably be around meal number three. So you just have to stay along until then. And if during the video you see my nails, I am really sorry. They're all bitten off and broken, but I'm getting them done next week. I'm actually getting them taken off because I got a new job. I just handed in my notice at a job I hated, as you know. Um, so yeah, things are about to take a little bit of a spin and my coach and I have also sat down and mapped out our competing plans for this year. So maybe I'll include that in this video because I pretty much have my show dates set in stone and prep is starting at the end of April. So I'll be very excited to take you along a prep journey once again. But for now, I'm going to go teach some clients and I will see you then for meal number one. So please don't forget to drop the video a like, hit the subscribe button, it helps girl out. And make sure you head over to Instagram and follow me there. I will insert my handle on screen. Uh, I post a lot there. I post a lot of my training, my food, my daily life. So make sure you give me a follow over there as well. But for now, enjoy the video. Hello, hello. Welcome to my kitchen. I have just done two hours of posing and all of my client check-ins and it's finally time to eat breakfast. It is 12 p.m. But we move. Um, it's a Saturday. I'm not in a rush to get my meals in. I have all the time in the world. And honestly, I am a hungry gal. I can eat every two hours if needed. But it's breakfast time. So I'm gonna run you through what I have and then show you the finished product. Um, now, disclaimer, I will be sharing calories and macros for today. So if that is triggering for you, please click off the video and go watch my other videos. There's plenty of there to watch. So if this is triggering for you, don't watch, please. So, we have, I've laid everything out. I was um, prepping some bits between clients. So we have. I have 50 grams of chicken ham that I just get in the polish shop, like from a butchered deli kind of thing. Um, I know Little does a nice packaged one as well. I've got some veggies. I'm obsessed with mushrooms. You'll see a pattern of this today. I have mushrooms, I have yellow peppers, I have little baby tomatoes, and I'm just gonna pop, um, these veggies in the air fryer for a few minutes. Then I have one baby bell. I have tracked two, but I'm thinking of saving one for a different meal. So we'll see how that works. So I'm just gonna have one for now. I've been obsessed with baby bells. They are like 40 calories and five grams of protein for just one of them. Now they are the light version. I've been obsessed. 
With that, I have a dilemma. I've tracked a bagel in today and I don't know which one to have. Do I go sesame or do I go cinnamon raisin? Now, obviously this is a savory meal, so sesame would work, but I also have 10 grams of nut butter in this meal, which obviously works better on the cinnamon raisin. I don't know what to do. Mom. Let's ask mom. Sesame or cinnamon? Sesame. Sesame? Okay, she says sesame. <laughs> We're actually gonna steal my boyfriend's sesame bagels, but he won't mind. So I'm gonna put this together, veggies in the air fryer, bagel on the grill, or toaster. I'll use a grill because it's closer. And then we eat this and I'm gonna head out for a coffee with my mom because normally Saturdays are very busy with training and clients and check-ins. But since I'm not training this weekend, like I told you, I'm gonna take my mommy out for a coffee. But yeah, I'm gonna put this together and show you and try not to ramble too much because I ramble way too much in these videos. Here we have it, one sesame bagel, 10 grams of nut butter, 50 grams of chicken ham, one baby bell light, veggies, and you've seen I just topped it off with some sugar-free ketchup and pink salt. I am going to eat this up. Mmm, I love bagels. Gonna eat this up and head out for a coffee. Then when I get home, I'm going to make my next meal. And after I eat my next meal, we're going to prep that little treat that I told you I'd be making because it needs to go in the freezer, hint, hint. It needs to go in the freezer for like two hours. So I'm gonna eat my next meal then. I'm gonna make that, pop it in the freezer, and then it'll be time for the next meal, probably when that's ready. So yeah, busy day as always, but I'm gonna eat this now and see you soon. I'll see macros on the screen right here. I said, and I'll do a total at the end of the day as well. So I will see you in the next clip. Hello, hello, I am back home. Coffee was really nice. Um, but it is half two and I am starving so it's time to have my next meal I'm gonna keep it very simple because as I said it's already half two and I still have to meal prep for the rest of today And for next week just to be prepared for a big week coming But I'm gonna keep it very simple. I found something Coconut rice. I love coconut anything coconut give it to me. There's 250 grams in the packet So I had 150 during the week so I only have 100 left um, So I'm gonna eat this up with just some additional plain rice cakes just to kind of make up the carbs. And with that, I'm just going to have some chicken, some chicken that I've already prepped as well. I'm just gonna pop it in the air fryer. And I have a big tub of green beans that I've also pre-cooked. So that is as exciting as it gets, but I'm gonna to top it off with nut butter. I've got some drizzler and I've got some almond and a true bodybuilder meal, rice, chicken, and nut butter and green beans. This is as exciting as it gets, I am sorry. But I'm gonna put it together, I'm going to eat it really quickly and then I'll be back in the kitchen with you guys to make that little treat that I've been telling you I'm gonna make today. I've never made it before, I saw it on TikTok, so we're gonna give it a try.
100 grams of coconut rice, 145 grams of chicken, 100 grams of green beans, two extra rice cakes to make up for the rice that I'm missing, and obviously 15 grams of nut butter. I will happily eat this now because I'm starving, and I will catch you in the kitchen in a little bit to show you what I'm making. Okay, that was delicious. I eat rice and chicken and nut butter day in, day out, and it's still one of my favorite meals. That coconut rice just brings it to another level. But anyway, it is time to make a little TikTok treat. So I have seen this on my For You page over and over and over again. And it's only two ingredients. Now, if you know me, if you've watched my videos, I have a very bad sweet tooth. Um, most of my meals in a day could be sweet and I still wouldn't have enough. So, as I said, I've been trying to kind of switch things up a little this weekend. Still stick to my macros and hit my protein, my carbs, my fats, my calories. Not go over, not go under, but include some fun foods. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make a giant cookie. And you'll only need two ingredients for it. And there is 20 grams of protein in one of them. It is a protein pudding recipe. I'm pretty sure most of you have seen a million of protein pudding recipes. I actually made protein pudding pancakes a few days ago and they turned out amazing. If I can, I'll insert a clip of them or even a picture. Um, they were delicious. They were honestly one of the best protein pancakes I've had. Today we're making a protein pudding cookie. So it's supposed to be a chocolate pudding and I thought I had one in the fridge but I don't. So we're gonna use caramel. We're gonna use caramel, protein pudding. This one is from Lidl, no, Aldi. This one's from Aldi, obviously Lidl does them as well. And we're going to mix that with two crumpled up just plain rice cakes from Tesco. Um, now, to this you could literally add anything. I've seen people add Smarties, marshmallows, but I'm gonna keep it plain and simple because I don't really wanna be adding any chocolate or stuff like that to it. So we're literally gonna go with one pudding and two rice cakes. Now that is only one part of my meal. I am gonna have something else to go with it because 250 calories is a bit too low for my meal. So this will be kind of like, it'll be a bit of a desserty meal, if I'm being honest, because um, normally it's a bowl of cream rice. But today we're making this and I might have a crumpet on the side because I've been craving crumpets all week and I haven't had the chance to have one because I haven't been training. So we're gonna make that today. We're gonna make a cookie. Well, it's kind of like a Rice Krispie treat, but frozen. So we'll see how it turns out. If it goes to shit, I'm just gonna have another protein pudding with um, rice cakes on the side and pretend it's the same thing. But we're gonna give it a go. So we're literally just gonna mix it in a bowl put on a sheet of parchment paper, kind of make it into somewhat of a cookie shape and pop it in the freezer for I think about two hours, which is perfect timing for my next meal then. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna do some meal prep and do some more client work.
protein, rice crispy cookie, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to pop it in the freezer and we will check back on it in about two hours. Hello, hello, it is me again. It's a little later, it's about half four now and it is time to eat again. Um, I haven't really checked on my cookie yet, so I'm going to have my next meal, which is chicken, potatoes, veggies, and that little bit of baby bell that I saved for my first meal. Remember I said I was going to have two, but I had one because I want to see how it goes with potatoes. Now, the house is really busy. Mom is cleaning downstairs. My mom's boyfriend is watching a match. My boyfriend is working on a Saturday. So I'm just gonna put it together and I'll just show you the finished product, pop the markers on the screen. Yeah, I'm not gonna annoy everyone downstairs with filming, so put it together, but I will show you. the house is really busy so I'm gonna keep this short and sweet but the melted baby bell worked we have 100 grams of chicken the leftover green beans from my last meal um, peppers and mushrooms air fried just like my breakfast meal uh, 250 grams of potato that you saw I seasoned with some Nando salt um, paprika and just salt and then when the potatoes are in the air fryer, I popped, I broke up a baby bell and popped it on top and it melted in as you would have seen. And then I have just a little bit of sauerkraut, which I've mentioned in my previous videos. I try to incorporate into my meals just for some digestive purposes. So I actually haven't had potatoes in a while and I kind of miss them. So I did that. Um, actually, I pre-boiled them earlier as well. So I boiled them until they were like semi done and then I popped them in the air fryer. So let's give it a taste test with the baby bell. Got some baby bell there on top of it. Mmm. Ooh, that worked. That's hot. So I said one of them is like 40 calories and five grams of protein. So this really bumps up the protein in this meal, which is why I'm only doing hundred grams of chicken especially since I still have a good bit of protein in my next meal, so like protein pudding, and then I'm gonna have oats as my last meal tonight with whey, so that's more protein. So I am definitely hitting my 140, 50 grams of protein that I'm supposed to be having in a day. Now let's get a mushroom. So good. So yeah. All right, we'll catch you then at my next meal, and we'll give that big ass cookie a try. We'll catch you. Can't get over how good that baby well and chicken and potatoes were. But as usual, once a week, I'm faced with the task of prepping chicken for the week. Now I am very grateful to my boyfriend for having supplied the chicken for this week. But now it's my duty to prep it. So I have two huge ass, two kilo trays of chicken that we get in Iceland because they have a student discount and we still have a student card. Um, but so what I do is I'm literally going to chop this up, get rid of all the ugly bits, um, weigh it all, bake it, wait for it to cool down and then what I do is I put it into baggies of 500 grams of raw white chicken and I just freeze it. So it's cooked, it's in the freezer and then I can just pop it out, pop it in the air fryer and it takes five minutes then and I have enough chicken for a week. An hour later I'm done with the chicken and some editing too, and some of my meal prep. I was a busy girl. But I mentioned I hate doing this. 
But it is half 6 p.m. and let's go check that cookie. Ah, look at it. Okay. It has not hardened fully. It's like soft. It's a weird consistency to it describe. But I'm still gonna plate it up and I'm still gonna eat it because I'm sure it's gonna taste amazing. But with that, as I said, I have one crumpet. So remember I said normally this meal is cream of rice and the pudding alone with the two rice cakes in there just won't cut it calorie wise. So I'm gonna have a crumpet, which I've been craving. I'm gonna have 50 grams of banana and Biscoff. I've been waiting for this all day. I love Biscoff. I am free to kind of interchange Biscoff and nut butter in my diet anyway, but I do try to keep it to just once a day, just to make sure I'm getting those healthy fats in from the nut butter and just kind of save Biscoff as a treat, especially with prep like nine, 10 weeks away. And I know well Biscoff will be gone. I still want to be enjoying it as much as I can right now, but not overdoing it. So I'm gonna do, I think 10 grams is what I tracked. I need to double check that. So once again, um, crump it in the toaster, I'm gonna put it together, show you, and we'll get a taste test of that massive cookie. But I'm not sure how it turned out. Back in the dining room with shitty lighting but I've got my one crumpet with 10 grams of Biscoff and a bit of banana. Don't think I need a taste test of that. I'm pretty sure all of you know what a crumpet and Biscoff tastes like. And if you don't know what Biscoff tastes like, I'm sorry, but you've been living under a rock. For the star of the show, we've got our massive cookie. As I said, it didn't like freeze solid like I saw everybody's on TikTok do. So I don't know what that's about, um, but we're gonna give it a try. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna show you a piece off because I know if I pick it up, I'm just going to break it. So I'm gonna cut a piece off. It kind of has a consistency of like an ice lolly. So not what I really hoped for, but okay. It tastes like soggy rice cakes with uh, protein pudding. So what I could have done was just had my rice cakes and put the pudding on top like I normally do. Or dip them in the pudding. But it's too late to go back now. I'm gonna give a little piece to my boyfriend to try as well, see what he thinks. He loves soggy rice cakes. So that might be up his street. But I think I'm gonna enjoy my comfort first. Babe, do you wanna try? Come here, come on the camera. Bite that piece in the cap. Look, there, look. You're supposed to take a bite of it. Oh, sorry. It's okay. We're looking over there. Never making it again. Never making it again. All right. Well, that's a fail. But as I said, I did make TikTok protein pancakes using the pudding, and they were bomb. So I did manage to upload the video from my phone onto my laptop. So you would have seen that clip. So it's not. It wasn't a total fail, right? I'm still gonna eat this though because I've tracked it in and I'm not gonna waste another protein pudding if I'm being honest because they're like two euro in pot. So I'm still gonna eat it, but we're gonna start with the crumpet. Can't go wrong with a crumpet. Okay. I'm gonna eat this, not enjoy it. And I need to go plug in my camera before I see you guys again for my last meal, which is a big bowl of oats. If you watch my videos, you know I need to end the day on a bowl of oats. So I will see you then. Good evening, my beautiful people. It is 8 p.m. right now. And I have just tidied up, Jesus. <laughs> I have just tidied up my room a little bit. And I actually got some time to just chill. I haven't done that in a while, so but I'm really tired today. I think the week just kind of hit me. You know, I told you I wasn't sleeping very well or not at all some nights. And work was just crazy and training and everything. So I just did nothing. I honestly laid on the couch and watched TikToks. 
and I have zero regrets. But I just need to hop in the shower now and eat my last meal. I will outro the video here. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I'm eating right now and how I'm making things a little bit more fun. And obviously there is more to come in the last meal that I'll just show it to you. I won't do too much explaining. I just want to say goodbye now, good night. Thank you for watching. Make sure you drop the video a like, hit the subscribe button and follow me on Instagram as usual. And again, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you did enjoy seeing what I eat and how I switch things up sometimes while still sticking to my macros and my calories. So there's that. Hope you enjoyed the fail of a protein cookie. Um, I'll make up for it. I'll make it up to you, I promise. I'll make something nice in the next video. Um, there's definitely gonna be a few more videos before I start prep. And next time I see you, I will sit down and tell you about my competing plans for this season. But for now, that is all for me. I'm going to hop in the shower, hop into my onesie, and bring my bowl of oats up to bed and watch some Netflix before I pass out. Because we have a nice day planned tomorrow, go for a walk in the morning, have a nice breakfast. It is an off plan meal. So we're gonna make breakfast at home. I'm also gonna be cooking dinner. So there is that. So as I said, this is all for me for tonight because I look like I got hit by a truck and that's kind of how I feel. So thank you, my beautiful people. Thank you, friends. Um, I will see you, well, I won't see you, but you'll see my last meal and I will catch up with you guys in the next video.